In this video, we're going to create an MCB server from scratch using Cursor, using AI Studio, using AquaVoice. And what we're going to build is an MCB server that can tell us how much we gained or lost in the stock market over a given amount of time. In order to keep this video as short as possible, I won't be running my PRD creator. Hopefully that won't create any issues down the line. The basic process will be download all the documentation, create a boilerplate MCV server. Once we see that's working in Cursor, we'll add all the functionality we really want. And I'm gonna try and show you all the steps. I might fast forward through some of it, but I'll let you know exactly what I did. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is gonna open up Cursor and create a new project. We're gonna say new project on the desktop, we'll call it MCP tutorial and open that up. So then I go to the model context protocol.io and I go down to building MCP with LLMs. And I just take the latest LLMs dash full text. They change this from time to time. So I recommend doing this every once in a while. Just copy and paste the whole thing. Let's go back to cursor. And we'll, first we'll create a new folder called documentation. And put a file in there. MCP docs.md. And we'll just put it in there. Okay, the next thing I do is I go back and I get the latest Python SDK. And everything we need here is in the readme. So what we're gonna do is go to the readme page and we're gonna change GitHub to Git ingest. And what this does is it takes the whole readme page and puts it into a markdown file as well. So let's just copy everything here. Go back to cursor and create another file. CP Python SDK.md, paste that in there as well. Great. So now we have the basic documentation. Now, what I like to do before I build my actual MCP server is build a basic MCP server to make sure everything's working. So we're gonna do that with AI Studio. So let's go to AI Studio, let's create a new prompt. Let's make sure we have Gemini 2.5 selected. We can leave the temperature at one. What I love about AI Studio, it has a 1 million token context window. And let's just vibe code this. So let's start Aqua Voice. We are gonna create an MCP server for adding and subtracting and doing basic math. I'm giving you documentation to understand how to create MCP servers. We'll be creating this in cursor, so I want you to give me a full instructions that I could just paste a cursor. We will be using STDIO. We will be using fast MCP. We will be creating this in Python, obviously. Any logging we're gonna do will be done with STD ERR. I want you to create the full instructions including creating a path, creating a virtual environment, activating the virtual environment, installing all the necessary dependencies, writing the code to server.py, making sure that all exists within the virtual environment we created, create a basic readme telling me how to start the MCP server in the mcp.json file, make sure to include instructions for how to start the MCP server using the absolute path. Of course, we'll add the documentation that we downloaded. So let's just go in here. The documentation, take them both and paste them in as well because we got that huge context window. Also, let's just turn on grounding with Google search. So if it needs, you could search the internet and let's go. Okay, let's look at the instructions it gave us. So let's just copy and paste it and see if it works. So let's open the agent and just paste it in and see what happens. And cursor just worked on it step by step based on the instructions we got from AI Studio. Ran into some issues, but self-corrected. And now it says the math server on SCDAO is running. So let's just pop out the terminal. A mistake it made, by the way, is it created the server.py outside of the project file, but anyways. Okay, perfect. I've created the project directory, installed the MCP package, created the server.py file with a complete implementation of the math server, created a comprehensive readme with setup instructions, tested that the server implements our four mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, great. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a dot .cursor and MCP JSON. And what we're doing here is we're creating a project manage MCP server because we don't want to add this to all of our other MCP servers. Let's go back to the readme, copy this, paste it in. And a new MCP server has been detected, mouth server, let's enable it. Let's just quit and reopen cursor, open back up. Now let's go to our MCP settings, see if it's running. Boom, running, that was easy. Okay, so let's just test it out really quickly. What's five plus five? Okay, so it called our MCP tool and used the add function, great. So now we know our MCP server is running. It's a math server, but that's not what we came here to do. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna start a new chat. First of all, let's make sure we have Firecrawl running. Let's paste in the URL and let's trigger Aqua Voice. Okay, we are gonna go to Alpha Vantage, the link I gave you before, and download the necessary API documentation, and you'll put in the documentation directory as MD files. And I want you to get the proper documentation for getting the current stock price and historical stock price. 
And basically what I want to be able to do is figure out how much money I earned over a period of time, given, given certain stocks. And it should be very flexible. Use Firecrawl. So now we're going to use the Firecrawl MCP server to download the documentation we need. That's interesting. Our conversation is too long, but we just started the conversation. Wow, cursor, really cool. So let's just see if starting a new thread works. Okay, let's try this again. Use the Firecrawl MCP server and go to Alpha Vantage to get the proper API documentation and endpoints for retrieving current stock prices, historical stock prices. Essentially, what I want to be able to do is use the API to calculate how much money I earned or lost over a given amount of time. Let's see if Cursor can do that. That's funny, so I didn't give it the URL this time. Now it's using Brave Search to find the URL and the conversation's too long. How? How is it too long? What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do because I forgot we're using AI Studio, which has a huge context window. So we're gonna take the whole documentation here and just paste it into AI Studio and tell it what we wanna do. And then we're gonna apply that to Cursor. So we're just gonna copy pretty much everything. Let's paste it all in there. Holy crap, it's a lot. Okay, and then don't worry, it's only 5,016 lines. Okay, so let's go back to AI Studio. Okay, the good news is we're only at 74,000 tokens. Let's see how far we can push this. Okay, great. Our basic MCP server is working. Now that we have a boilerplate MCP server, we're gonna change it a bit. I want to be able to use Alpha Vantage API to understand stocks, understand how much I earned or how much I lost over a certain amount of time. So I wanna be able to look at historical data. I'm gonna paste all the APIs to you. And what I want you to do is figure out the APIs I need to accomplish that and then we're gonna rewrite the tools in our MCP server to work with the Alpha Vantage API. So we're basically replacing our boilerplate code for the adding and subtracting for using this API. Okay, now I'm just gonna paste it all in there and let's see what happens. So first of all, it says, let's get our API key. Let's call it our organization Terrific. You're fired. Get the free API key. It gave us an API key, that's great. And I'll delete this one later. So let's just push AI Studio a little bit more. Here's my API key. Can you update your instructions, including the API key? And remember it's for cursor. We're in the same exact development environment, so we don't need to re-enable the virtual environment. We just needed to change our existing MCP server that we created to work like this. So let's just copy this into cursor. Hopefully it'll work this time. And let's see, so what it says here, We've successfully modified the MCP server to use Alpha Vantage. We updated the server to Pi to implement the Alpha Vantage API client. Updated the README, made sure the server is configured to read the API and the environment variables, which will be set in the cursor MCP configuration. You only need to configure cursor to use the new server. Okay, so let's just copy this whole thing and paste it in here. Let's see what happens. Let's save it, enable it, go to our cursor settings. And let's see, will it go green? Will it go green? And it did not go green. Now we ran into an issue, it's not turning on. And let's just copy and paste this back into AI Studio. Okay, cursor followed your instructions and then we restarted cursor, but the client showed up as closed. Here's what the cursor agent said. And here is the screenshot of what we see. Help us troubleshoot and give instructions to cursor how to solve this. So I'm pasting in the whole conversation. I'm also gonna paste in mcp.json that it told us to do. And lastly, let's just show what we see here. And like in regular development, Vibe coding also runs into issues. It's never a straight line. You gotta troubleshoot, you gotta figure it out. I'm trying to do this as much as Vibe coding allows me just copying and pasting back and forth my errors and figuring this out. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. Let's just see. Remember in the beginning, it created a server.py outside of the project directory. Well, that server.py is where it added all the alpha advantage stuff. That was my bad for not deleting it. But now I know what the problem is. I love this line. Let's quick cursor, start it over again. And we got a green dot. This is great. Okay, so let's ask it. How has my Tesla stock changed from January 19th till today? April 5th. Okay, so it's calling our MCP tool. Okay, great. We got it working, but now we got to troubleshoot this. Okay, so back to Gemini. Okay, great news. We got the MCP server to run. Now we just got to work on the API. It's not getting the right results. I'm going to share with you the output of cursor and we're going to figure out together what's wrong. 
and then how to fix it. And then you're gonna write to Cursor instructions on how to fix it. Okay, so let's just copy and paste this back into Cursor. Now we're just having Cursor make the API calls itself. And the problem was, is that this is a premium feature. Okay, let's just copy and paste that one more time. And let's see what happens. Okay, Cursor says that it solved it. Let's save it. Let's click Cursor. Let's open Cursor back up again. First of all, let's make sure that it goes green. Okay, now let's ask. I have 200 shares of Tesla and 200 shares of Apple. How has my stock portfolio changed from January 19th to today, April 6th? Let's see if this works. Okay, so it's calling the MCP tool, got stock performance. Let's see if it's working. Okay, so we're getting a result this time. So it looks like that's solved. It's calling it again. Now it's asking for Apple. From January 19th to April 5th, which was the last trading day, my Tesla stock has gone down 22%. So it's almost $10,000 loss there. My Apple stock has gone down 11%. So I lost almost four and a half thousand dollars there. So the total portfolio change there is I lost around $13,000, which I wish that was true. It's a lot more painful for me right now. And I'm sure for a lot of you, but yeah, the point is, this is how I build MCP servers. As you saw here, this was vibe coding. It wasn't the vibiest of coding because we ran into several issues and that's the nature of software development. But today was a bit more annoying than usual. Cursor has been acting up. You saw what happened there. And in any case, we didn't really look at the API. We didn't figure out right away what was free, what was part of the premium plan. So just to recap what I did in this video, the first thing I did was download the MCP documentation from the Model Context Protocol website. I also downloaded the MCP Python SDK. I saved that all to a documentation directory. Then what I did was I created a boilerplate MCP server just because sometimes I find the most annoying part of setting up an MCP server is it doesn't connect. So the way I like to do it is first make sure it works. Then I go ahead and redo it and connect the APIs and give it the real functionality that I wanted. What we did then was we tried to use the firecrawl MCP server within cursor to download the necessary APIs, but cursor was being annoying. So we ended up just taking the whole API documentation from alpha vantage and pasting that into Gemini because it has a huge context window anyways. We had Gemini give us all the steps along the way. So even though we use cursor, we had Gemini guide us. And I think it did a pretty good job. I really wanna take advantage of the Gemini 1 million token context window, which we needed here. Let's just look at it by the end of our conversation. We didn't even use that much of it. I mean, this would have been too much for cursor. We saw a short chat was too much for cursor, but I think Gemini did a really good job. There was a lot of troubleshooting going on. So. Usually I would just troubleshoot back and forth with cursor, but again, cursor is being annoying. So I just copied and pasted whatever I needed from cursor, I took screenshots and pasted it back into Gemini and we solved the whole thing. So I think it was still a vibe. I think it still would have been a lot faster for a non-coder or even a coder get this done with this back and forth. As you saw here, you have to still pay attention. You still have to understand what's going on. You have to be able to translate between cursor and Gemini and tell the cursor what's going on, tell Gemini what's going on. And also we saw cursor made plenty of mistakes. It created server.py outside of the main directory. And then when we had it change our functionality, it added it to the wrong server.py. So you still gotta pay attention and you still gotta figure out what's going on. So this was a very fast run of building an MCP server. I definitely suggest doing more debugging. I definitely suggest running the PRD creator first because we would have probably figured out which APIs we wanted. We would have figured out which APIs cost money and which didn't, but we didn't do it. So running the PRD creator definitely helps save time in the long run. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you learned now how to create MCP servers. Obviously people do it in many different ways. I prefer Python. I prefer to let Cursor or Gemini do as much of the work as possible. This video is sponsored by Aquavoice. That's what I use to vibe code, to dictate to Gemini and to Cursor on what we were working on. And that made our process even faster. So if you have any feedback or tips and tricks, drop them in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. I really hope by the next time I put a video out, we'll all be feeling a little bit better about the stock market and the economy. But if not, at least we got Llama 4, at least we got Gemini 2.5, at least we got all these AI models to play with and not think about everything else going on. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.